This five-story building in Lower Manhattan is unremarkable, but for its location. It sits around the corner from where the World Trade Center towers once stood. Many Americans consider this area sacred ground, a memorial to those who died in the 9-11 attacks. So the prospect of an Islamic center that would include a mosque being built here has divided many in this community and across the country. It's a horrible betrayal of, of our 3,000 victims and our wonderful and brave policemen and firemen who gave their lives willingly. The center's organizers have said that they want to promote tolerance and healing. But opponents, including the former Republican vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, have tried to block the plans by any means. They asked the city to declare the building an architectural landmark that would have prevented its demolition and forced the organizers to revise or abandon the project. But after weeks of review, a commission has now rejected that idea. 45 to 47 Park Place does not rise to the necessary standard to be designated an individual New York City landmark. It is disgrace that has just transpired here. I hope Shame on you mayor silly Bloomberg liberals. is satisfied. And Thanks, that mayor. Cries. The mayor of New York City is Michael Bloomberg. He is a Republican, but unlike most in his party, he supports the Islamic Center plan. It is my hope that the mosque will help to bring our city even closer together and help repudiate the false and repugnant idea that the attacks of 9-11 were in any ways consistent with Islam. I feel relieved. I think that this center has great potential in, in bringing um, several religions together. And I feel that uh, with its building, God willing, um, it'll cause a lot of misconceptions to lessen. The center may have cleared an important legal hurdle, but opponents are promising to do whatever they can to keep it from opening. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.